Hi, I'm uh, Sean Gadine. I'm a uh, Petty Officer First Class in the Royal Canadian Navy, a uh, branch of the uh, Canadian Armed Forces. I'm a uh, clearance diver uh, with uh, flight, Fleet Diving Unit Pacific in Victoria, British Columbia. Uh, my current position right now, I'm the uh, Senior Dive Instructor for the Diving School for the uh, uh, Royal Canadian Navy, in particular uh, Fleet Diving Unit Pacific. Our current roles and responsibilities. I'm uh, uh, in charge of uh, force generation of uh, uh, Canadian Armed Forces divers, uh, ships divers, uh, SAR tech divers, uh, and clearance and clearance diving officers uh, alike. So, on a day-to-day -day basis, what does that what does that mean? What do you what are you doing? Are you on the computer? Or what happens? <laughs> so first and foremost, I uh, leave the house. I uh, have a beautiful family, a couple of young kids, and try to help to get them off to school. Right. <laughs> uh, the goal is to be at work uh, by 8 a.m. <laughs> uh, that's the start of the day. Yep. Uh, fortunate uh, in the uh, occupation that I work, physical fitness is a huge uh, component uh, to being a clearance diver. Uh, it takes an immense amount of uh, uh, physical endurance uh, and mental uh, a strain to do what we do. Thus, uh, we're permitted to do approximately an hour and 15 minutes of physical fitness training, uh, part of our work day. So I like to uh, show up at work, grab coffee, uh, hit the gym, go for a run, uh, and then I uh, quickly settle into my daily routine, hopefully around 9 a.m. Yep. Uh, filter through the emails. Uh, I have a shop full of uh, uh, dive instructors as well, other clearance divers, uh, in a variety of ranks and positions. So. First and foremost is to get the tasks out the door, making sure that uh, the force, gen force generation and uh, the dive school runs effectively. Uh, seeing some of the senior dive instructor, uh, most of my day is occupied by, uh, for lack of better terms, putting out fires, uh, electronic fires, uh, coordinating with my boss, uh, the training chief, and the, our divisional officer, the training officer, mm -hmm. uh, making sure that the administration and the support is there for uh, instructors and uh, students alike uh, to make them successful. Great. And how did you get to the position that you're in now? I joined, uh, joined the Canadian Armed Forces in 96, uh, uh, right out of high school. Uh, I needed some direction in my life uh, and I, I thought the, the military would be a good fix for me. So I, about four weeks, five weeks, right out of high school in 96, uh, I enlisted, uh, said I would try it for a couple of years. I uh, fell in love with the military. Uh, I was fortunate to work on board uh, three uh, ships, Canadian uh, Navy vessels. Uh, but early on in my career, uh, in 1998, I had an opportunity, or I was asked to do a, a ship's diver course. It's a very generic uh, six-week course, a subspecialty to my previous job. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I did it, and uh, I really enjoyed diving. Uh, during that time, uh, it was a couple weeks in September. Uh, there was a uh, passenger airliner that crashed into Halifax, Nova Scotia, uh, near Peggy's Cove, uh, Swiss Air 111. Uh, being at the diving under training, I saw the clearance divers at that time uh, go to work. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a selfless job. They worked hard. They were professional, motivated. And I said, that's what I want to do. Uh, so I did some inquiring, uh, found out how I could do it. It wasn't until five years later approximately, uh, I guess, 2003, that all my administration paperwork, I attended uh, Hell Week, essentially, the selection process to become a clearance diver. Mm -hmm. I was successful. Subsequently, I was loaded on a, a year-long dive course, the clearance diver course at Fleet Diving Unit Pacific. Extremely challenging course. Uh, passed it. Uh, again, was subsequently posted to Fleet Diving Unit Pacific, worked through the ranks, uh, and that was in 0304. And then I just uh, steadily progressed, and uh, I find myself in my position today as a senior dive instructor teaching uh, new clearance divers. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I find it very rewarding, uh, you know, having sat in this, having been uh, in the seat as a student. Uh, you now I feel the, the need and uh, the responsibility to make sure that they, uh, they get the proper training for safe, competent divers. Domestic uh, exercise operation or deployed or were embedded with uh, other military elements or coalition partners or working with uh, uh, other government agencies. Uh, you know, it's I take a great uh, deal of responsibility and pride in ensuring uh, they are, are competent, they're uh, uh, fully capable and trained to perform their tasks. Uh, mm -hmm. 
completion of 12 months. And um, if you had some words of advice for some young people that were maybe thinking of joining the dive unit, what, what route do they need to take? What path is the easiest sort of, or maybe not the easiest, but what path do they need to follow in order to get to where you are? So my, my branch or my, my occupation is very unique within the Canadian Armed Forces. Uh, currently there's 128 uh, clearance divers who specialize solely in uh, diving and UD capabilities, various types of explosive arms disposal capabilities. Uh, it's, it's a profession, it's not a subspecialty, it's what we do day in and day out. Mm -hmm. uh, highly trained professionals, uh, we take great pride in what we do. Uh, as of right now, there's no possible avenue. Uh, short short uh, avenue to, to become a clearance diver. Uh, we tell people you have to enlist in the military. You have to have uh, anywhere from three to four years experience typically. Uh, there are exceptions to the rule uh, before you can even uh, uh, commence the application process to try uh, to uh, do a voluntary occupational transfer or a component transfer. So it's a very challenging process uh, just because there's a lot of hurdles uh, and selection uh, or selection is extremely challenging uh, so uh, a possible 40 candidates who can try selection each year uh, only about 30 percent will be successful out of that 30 percent we may take only another uh, 50 percent of that uh, so it's it's challenging but we tell people who uh, want to do this profession and are serious about it is uh, absolutely worth the time, the effort, uh, getting yourself mentally and physically prepared and uh, to, to challenge it. It's an exciting uh, career. And what are the, some of the obstacles or challenges that you faced in getting to where you are? I think I had a very fortunate uh, opportunity in my chain of command. Uh, my previous uh, job, they, I had full support of them. Uh, they knew this is something I wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they were looking at the bigger picture. Uh, with me contributing to the Canadian Armed Forces in a different capacity. Uh, they knew I was passionate, I was motivated, I was working hard. Uh, they knew I was in uh, top physical fitness at the time. And uh, they, they really embraced it. Uh, they, they really supported my goals. Uh, and made, made the administration process, which is, can be one of the biggest hurdles uh, in any type of application process. Uh, it, it wasn't an easy process. But they did support me, which was huge. Yeah. Uh, um, and in five years' time, where do you see yourself? That's a great question. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Uh, my first milestone was 20 years. So that's come and gone. Uh, I guess my next milestone is coming up in uh, two to three years. Um, you know, as long as I stay healthy and I feel like I'm contributing in a uh, meaningful way, it's a uh, it's a fantastic occupation. You know, whether I'm uh, behind a desk uh, doing administration or working or I'm deployed halfway around the world with a small tight-knit elite group of uh, individuals, professionals, working with like-minded individuals from uh, various countries, coalition, other militaries, uh, 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 neutralizing explosive underwater threats or just uh, being an ambassador for uh, our country. Mm -hmm. Any words of wisdom for some after all your experience? Uh, perseverance. Uh, you gotta have perseverance. You gotta mean. Uh, you have to remain positive, and uh, you have to enjoy what you do. Great. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. <laughs>